The next type of isomers are called positional isomers. Position, positional isomers are from the same homologous series, so from the same class of compounds, but, this phys, but the position of the functional group varies in each isomer. So it's just the placement of the um, functional group. So in this case, these are both um, propanol molecules, but the placement is different. So this is one propanol. This is why numbering is important. One propanol and this is two propanol. So it's important to specify where is the OH so that we know which isomer it is, which positional isomer it is. So one propanol, two propanol. These are both propanol molecules. These are both positional isomers of each other. Now you cannot have free propanol because if I end up, if I change this OH and I put it on the third carbon, like this, here, and then I say one, two, three, so this is on the third carbon, so it would be free propanol. That's not true because we can also number it one, two, three. It doesn't really matter. You start three to one or one to three. It should not really matter. And as you can see, this is equivalent to. 1 propanol. So if the names are the same, means it's the same molecule. Okay, so these are not isomers of each other, they are equivalent molecules. And when you're finding positional isomers, this is a common issue that happens, is that you end up confusing uh, two similar molecules as being isomers of each other. Let's see a few examples. So if you take these for instance, so I have one, two, three, or we can number one, two, three, like this. So this is one propanol or propanol, whichever. If we count this one here, even if the OH here, it's here, it's on the right and here it's at the bottom it does not make any difference this OH is still on the first carbon so this is again one propanol it does not matter whether it's on the right on the top at the bottom if it's on the same carbon it's the same molecule now let's look at this one here so here at the first look, you would say that the longest chain has two carbons, one, two. But if you look carefully, the longest chain has one, two, three. You're counting at one go, one, two, three. So it's the same chain. You have one single chain. You're counting. You keep counting at one go. The counting is not interrupted. So it's the same molecule. It still have three carbons in the longest chain. And you could number this one. One, two, three. So it is still the longest chain having three carbons. So it is still a propanol. And the OH is still on carbon 1, so 1 propanol. So these three molecules, even if they look different, they are the same. So these three are not positional isomers. They are the same molecule. So you're going to try to draw the positional isomers for C4H8. C4H8, so this is an alkene. So here the functional group is going to be the C double bond C. So you're going, to have, you're going to have different placements of the C double bond C. So pause the video, try to draw the positional isomers. You should get only two different molecules with this formula. So if you look at this one, so we'll draw the four carbons. So one, two, three, four. So we'll place the double bond between carbon one and two, and then everywhere we'll put single bond. 
and we'll try another isomer so again four carbons so here the chain length will be the same it's just you're changing the position of the functional group so here i put it between carbon two and three so everywhere will have single bond again and then i fill with hydrogen and if we look at the naming of these this one is having the double bond between carbon one and two so it's one butene or but one in and this one has the double bond between the second and the third carbon so this is two butene or you could also say but two in this is another example where you have the positional isomers of nitrophenol so here the nitro group and o2 is going to be shifting position so this is um normally when we name it um, so this is phenol if we draw it just like this this is phenol and when we're naming we start with carbon one here so one two three four five six so this is two nitrophenol two three this is three nitrophenol and two three four this is four nitrophenol so if you look at the names as well of the positional isomers, you'll see that it's the same molecule, but it's just the numbers that are changing. So 1-butene, 2-butene, 2-nitrophenol, 3-nitrophenol, 4-nitrophenol, 1-propanol, 2-propanol. So it's just the number in front that is changing, indicating that it's a... Um, it's a positional isomer.